Welcome me everyone. If your broken iPhone has a tiny amount of the touchscreen working, then we will be able to access this from the computer. So head over to the lock screen. And if you have a iPhone without a home button, you're gonna long press the power button. Otherwise, long press the home button. And if you see Siri, there is a good chance that you'll be able to pull this off. Otherwise, you've hit the brick wall. That's uh, your iPhone done. So we're gonna activate Siri. Turn on voiceover. voiceover. And so now voiceover will be enabled. If you have a home button device, click the home button until you see the passcode screen. If you don't have a home button, click the power button until we are brought back to the regular lock screen. So hopefully a small part of the bottom of your iPhone is working the touch screen. So we, we want to swipe up and hold like this and then release and get to the passcode screen. And so what we can do is with the voiceover, okay, let's say we can't, you know, tap anywhere here on the screen. Well, you can do little swipes. So just swipe on an area of the touch screen, which is working. And you can see we can select the passcode, okay? So let's say one, well, and then I want to go to three. You can see you just keep on swiping to go between one to nine. So my actual passcode is five, eight, one, three. So you just double tap when you select the passcode. And now we are in. So now we just need to connect our device to the computer. And so once we're connected, we swipe over. So just keep on swiping to the right. Double tap trust, swipe across, enter in your passcode like this. And hopefully now you can use your computer with iTunes uh, or Finder to back up your phone. Let's say you're upgrading from an old phone, you back up this phone's data, upgrade and then restore the data using that backup. If you need to use iCloud backup, then you swipe across so you see the settings, boom, swipe across and then, you know, it's, it's a whole process, but you can see you swipe, select every option until you're brought to the iCloud backup and then create the backup there. If you need the phone screen repaired, you still want to back up your phone because after the repair, you may lose your data. And uh, with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.